This is the piece of fabric with the interfacing already ironed on. I'm going to measure two centimetres, put a mark, two centimetres, put a mark, and this is where we put the ribbons to that side and to that side. I've clipped the ribbons on to each side and I'm just going to tack close to the edge just to keep them in place. This piece of fabric forms the foot muff to your buggy cover. To get the centre, simply fold in half like that and form a crease and we're going to put fusible interfacing just on this bit here. I've applied interfacing to the one half then from about one centimetre from the fold top stitch all along there you might want to use a fancy stitch now place the foot muff on top make sure it's the fabric's going the right way so look my rainbows are going the right way if i'd have put it that way they'd have been upside down so put it the right way on there now take your other piece of fabric and put it on the top, face down, and then clip. I've clipped all the way around and I'm going to start sewing there all the way around and stopping there and leaving a 10 centimetre gap in the middle there for turning. I've turned it through the gap. If you're using directional fabric you will notice that your fabric is upside down that's absolutely correct that's how it should be. So we're going to seal up this gap next, a couple of clips, then take it over to the sew machine and just sew the gap closed. I've sewn up the seam, I've used my sewing machine, but you could, for neatness, use a nice running stitch along there. Now I'm going to turn it the right way, so we put our hand in there, push that through. Pull that through, push your corners up there, and there it is, all finished.